हेलो दोस्तों वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल नमस्ते जी एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी विल गोन टॉक अबाउट राम मंदिर सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो so, दोस्तों राम मंदिर इज अ हिंदू टेंपल डेट इज लोकेटेड इन द सिटी ऑफ अयोध्या उत्तर प्रदेश इट इज लोकेटेड एट द साइट ऑफ राम जन्मभूमि एंड इट इज ऑल्सो द साइट फॉर फॉर्मर बाबरी मस्जिद हाउ एवर इन टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन द सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑफ इंडिया हैड गिवन द डिस्प्यूटेड लैंड टू हिंदूज फॉर द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ आर टेम्पल डेडिकेटेड टू लॉर्ड राम एंड इट हैड ऑल्सो सेट दैट मुस्लिम्स विल ऑल्सो बी गिवन आ पीस ऑफ लैंड अवे फ्रॉम अयोध्या टू कंस्ट्रक्ट देयर ओन रिलीजियस स्ट्रक्चर Supreme Court of India had referred to a report by Archaeological Survey of India as evidence which suggested that there was a Hindu temple before the construction of Babri Masjid. So if we briefly focus on the history then Ayodhya is believed to be the birthplace of Lord Ram and in 16th century the Mughal emperor Babur had attacked and destroyed the temple and then later on the Mughals constructed Babri Masjid at the same very site which is known to be the birthplace of Lord Ram. However in the 19 80s the Vishwa Hindu Parishad had launched a movement to reclaim the site and to erect a temple dedicated to Lord Ram and then in a series of events it laid the foundation stone of the temple right adjacent to the disputed land and then on 6th of December 1992 Vishwa Hindu Parishad and BJP organized a rally with more than 150000 volunteers eventually the rally turned out to be a violent one and they destroyed and tore down the Babri Masjid what happened in Ayodhya on 6th was very unfortunate it should not have happened we tried to prevent it but we did not succeed Obviously the demolition of the mosque led to several months of violence between Hindus and Muslim communities and as per some reports the Hindu temples in Pakistan and Bangladesh were also destroyed but as i had mentioned before at the start of the video that the archaeological survey of india had said that it had found evidences that there was a Hindu temple before the construction of Babri Masjid but despite that there were several disputes and it was only in 2019 when supreme court of india had declared a verdict that the dispute land needs to be given to hindus for the construction of the ram temple and the muslims also need to be given a land away from ayodhya So following the instructions of the Supreme Court of India on 5th of February 2020 the government of India under Prime Minister Narendra Modi had declared in the parliament that they have accepted a plan for the construction of Ram temple and 2 days later on 7th of February 2020 Muslims were also allocated a 5 acre land 22 kilometers away from Ayodhya for construction of their own religious structure Meri sarkar ne Supreme Court ke निर्देशानुसार श्री राम जन्मस्थली पर भगवान श्री राम के भव्य मंदिर के निर्माण के लिए और इससे संबंधित अन्य विषयों के लिए एक बृहद योजना तैयार की है So to start the construction of Ram Mandir Temple the trust of the temple had started a nationwide campaign to collect money for the construction and by April 2021 it had collected more than 5000 crores with former president Mr Ram Nath Kovin becoming the first person to contribute as he had donated more than 5 lakh rupees
However, as usual, this particular event has also attracted several controversies with several organizations claiming that the Bhumi Puja ceremony was supposed to be done by the religious priest and not by the Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Opposition parties have also claimed that the BJP has used Ram Mandir to gain political mileage. The four highest gurus of Hinduism will also not be a part of inauguration ceremony because those four gurus believe that the Ram Mandir is improperly constructed and the inauguration is being done when the temple has not even been completely constructed. To conclude, the Bhumi Puja was performed by Prime Minister Narendra Modi on 5th August 2020. Currently, the temple is scheduled to be inaugurated on 22nd January 2024 and the workers are working in two shifts to meet the stringent timeline. Well, this is a centuries old dream for millions and now it is taking shape in the form of brick and mortar and this is a dream come true for millions of Hindus in India and across the globe. I कि 22 को यहां पहुंचने का प्रयास हम न करें कुछ ही लोगों को निमंत्रण गया है वे लोग आएंगे और 23 के बाद सारे देशवासियों के लिए the cost of the temple is estimated to be at around 2000 crores but as per some reports it might also go upwards of 3000 crores but Ram Mandir represents a symbol of hope, unity and resilience for millions of Hindus. So thank you so much for watching the video consider subscribing and do let me know in the comment section if you believe that BJP has used Ram Mandir for its own political mileage.